Um, right, good morning. I'm Judge Carter. If I could have the state and the um, defense place their appearances on the record, please. Bradford Fisher for Angelica Preston. Good morning, Edith Bush for the Office of the State Attorney. Good morning, Lakeisha Halen, Office of the Public Defender. Thank you. This is 20MM7267. Ma'am, good morning. Tell me your name, please. Yes, Angelica Preston. Ms. Preston, you were arrested pursuant to a probable cause warrant for battery domestic violence. Good morning. Tell me your name, please. Jerica Young. Ms. Young, could you please raise your right hand to be sworn in? You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. All right. Mr. Brett, or Mr. Fisher, go ahead. Ms. Young, um, do you want this case to go forward? No. Do you want to be able to have contact with Ms. Preston? Yes. Do you want to, to whatever extent you ever spend time at each other's homes, do you want to be able to be around each other? Yes. Your Honor, I'd ask this uh, case that should be set release on her own recognizance, and I would ask the court to allow con no hostile contact. Ms. Bush, do you have any questions for the witness? No, Your Honor. Thank you. No questions? No, Your Honor. Okay. And I would point out, Your Honor, if you read the report, it's frankly convoluted. It looks like at best mutual combat. <laughs> so I think the case is unlikely to go forward. All right. Um, Ms. Preston, at this time, I'm gonna order that you're not to have any hostile contact with Ms. Young. Do you understand what that means? Yes, ma'am. All right, you're also not to possess any weapons or firearms. And uh, I will release you on your own recognizance at this time, looking at your uh, criminal history or lack thereof and lack of failures to appear. Um, just make sure that you appear at the court date if the state, in fact, does um, file charges. Otherwise, there'll be a warrant issued for your arrest. Yes, ma'am. Okay, yes. thank you. Anything that, else, Mr. Fisher? That's it, Your Honor, except I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope we're done with COVID. I, I know. <laughs> Enjoy your day, too. You, too. Thank you. All right, and are you Mr. Lightfoot? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Good morning, sir. Good morning, uh, tell me your name. Your name? Uh, your name. Brian Buchanan. Mr. Buchanan. Sorry. Okay. Looks like you are here for a change of plea. This is out of Seminole County. You are going to be admitting that you violated your probation in case number 18MM8183. The agreement approved by Judge Rex Seidler is that you will be admitting that you violated your probation. Your probation will be revoked and terminated as not in compliance. You will be adjudicated guilty of a of petty theft, a first degree misdemeanor, and sentenced to 60 days in jail with whatever time you have credit for. Your cost of supervision, court costs, and cost of prosecution will be reduced to a judgment. Is that your understanding of the, of the agreement? It is. Your Would Honor, you? we did have one question here. The state uh, had wanted Mr. Buchanan to pay the cost of probation from the time of his incarceration up until this date. Um, we did believe that that would be illegal for the court to order in this case. Um, that was the only condition that uh, looked like there was any problem with. Other than that, we are, we are totally prepared to move forward. And Mr. Buchanan has no uh, uh, dispositive issue with the payment itself. Um, we just believe that that would be an illegal part of the sentence. Okay, so what I have in the negotiated agreement is $420. You're disputing that amount? Uh, Your Honor, I believe it was backdated from March when he was picked up until today is when they were looking for him to be paying for probation costs. He's been incarcerated here, obviously. Um, if you can't touch it, then we'll just take it as it is. So the thing is, I mean, if you want to figure that out or get it changed, you can do that and we can come back and take the plea on another day. I just okay. don't know what the cost of supervision would have been from that day. I don't have that information. Um, given that it's an out-of-county plea, I really am just here to facilitate the plea. Yeah. Whatever negotiations take place or wherever the agreements are between the state attorney in Seminole County and you. So if you want me to reset it, I'm happy to do that. Or no, Judge, we'd like to move forward. Okay. How much time does Mr. Buchanan have? Uh, on this case, I'm not sure in total. He has credit for all the time he spent in jail. I believe he was picked up in March okay. on this case. Yes, oh, I'm sorry, April 29th. 160? 167. 160. Okay, so more than the six. So it'll be 167. All right. Mr. Buchanan, did you have an opportunity to review the uh, plea form? I did. Were you able to talk with your lawyer about all of the rights that you're giving up? Yes. Do you have any questions about those rights? No. 
Um, are you under the influence of any drugs, alcohol, or medication? No. And you understand that by entering into an admission today, you're going to give up your right to have a hearing and make the state prove by the greater weight of the evidence that you violated your probation? Yes. You understand if you are not a U.S. citizen that this plea will result in your deportation? Yes. Are you under the influence of any drugs, alcohol, or medication? No. All right, sir. And at this time, you are admitting that you violated your probation? Yes. Um, actually, <clears throat> I'm going to need... I have the plea form here, but it's not signed. Did Correct. you have it we signed? Have signed? Oh, copy. would you approach with that? And does, did the did prosecuting Ms. attorney in Seminole sign it? Yeah, no, there's, there's it is signed by the state attorney? It is not. Okay. Ms. Bush, and did you I want to sign the plea form? I to sign it. Mr. Lightfoot? Ms. Bush will need to sign the plea form. That's okay. Thank you. All right, Mr. Buchanan, at this time, I will accept your plea, adjudicate you guilty, sentence you to 167 days in the county jail. You've got credit for 167 days time served. Um, your probation will be, um, you'll be adjudicated guilty. Your probation will be revoked and terminated. All of your court costs, cost of supervision, cost of prosecution, and cost of defense will be, re thank you, Dexter, will be reduced to a judgment. You do have 30 days to appeal the judgment and sentence of the court in writing. Do you have any questions, sir? No. All right, thank you. Thank you, Judge. I think the Spanish cases. Good morning, Your Honor. This is Carlos Morales, State Certified Spanish Court Interpreter. Interpreter has been sworn in already today. Thank you, Mr. Morales. We'll go ahead and call the first case. And this is BRC1. Thank you. I'm connecting now. Great. Sir, good morning. Tell me your name, please. Buenos días. Givino Samuel Luis Perez. Kevino Samuel Luis Perez. This is 20 CF 12245. You were arrested for burglary of a structure. There is probable cause. I am going to appoint the public defender to represent you. You're not to return to the scene or have any contact with the victim. Your bond is $1,500, sir. Thank you. Ma'am, good morning. Tell me your name, please. Leslie Soto Vicente de Hernandez. Leslie Soto Vicente de Hernandez. This is 20 CF 12246. 
you were arrested for burglary of a structure, there is probable cause. I'll appoint the public defender to represent you. Your bond is going to be $1,000. You're not to return to the scene or have any contact with the victim, ma'am. Thank you. All right. Good morning, sir. Your name? I can't see well. All right, sir. Tell me your name, please. Roberto Mena. Roberto Mera. Mena Gamboa. Mena Gamboa. Hmm. Sir, you have two cases, 20MM5625 and 20MM5637. I will appoint the public defender to represent you if they were not previously appointed. And 20 mm 5637, I'm going to place you on pretrial release. And in 20 mm 5625, I'm also going to place you on pretrial release. Sir, you need to provide a good address to Ms. Haling. That way you can get in, they can get in contact with you and you don't miss court. Hey. No, you no, I can't hear well. Your Honor, may I have a moment? Sure. Any conditions, Your Honor? No. No. Mm -hmm. Oh, was it a PTC? Yes. What division is that? Ms. Haling, I have to give dates too because it was a failure to appear for pretrial. Okay. Um, the pretrial conference is Division 63, November 19th at 8.30 a.m., courtroom 12C.
Sir, good morning. Tell me your name, please. Carlos. Car Carlos Guzman. Carlos Guzman. This is 20 CT 6330. You were arrested for driving without a valid driver's license. There is probable cause. I'll appoint the public defender to represent you. Ms. Bush, did you have an offer for Mr. Guzman? Yes, Your Honor. It's an adjudication of guilt, two days Orange County Jail, two days credit time served. Do not drive without a valid driver's license and court costs. Mr. Guzman, did you want to enter a plea? Okay. Mr. Guzman, pick your uh, mask up for me. Thank you. Yeah. I'm sorry, Your Honor. Uh, can your honor repeat the question again, please? Did you want to accept the state's offer? Uh, um, if you can repeat it again, I didn't uh, quite get it. Sure. It's an adjudication of guilt, two days in jail with credit for two days time served, and you're not to drive without a valid driver's license. Okay. All right. Sir, did you read the plea form before court? Well, Which one? Please let me know if you have any questions about any of the rights that you're giving up. Sir, do you have any questions? No. No. Are you on probation? No. No. Do you understand if you're not a U.S. citizen, this plea will result in your deportation? Yes. Are you under the influence of any drugs, alcohol, or medication? No. No. Oh. I'll accept your plea, adjudicate you guilty, sentence you to two days in jail. You have credit for two days' time served. You're not to drive without a valid driver's license. You'll have to pay court costs, which will be due by October 12th of 2021. You have 30 days to appeal the judgment and sentence of the court in writing. Thank you, sir. All right. Good morning. Your name? Good morning, yes. Eddie Hernandez Rivera. Eddie Hernandez Rivera. How about Mr. Perez Gonzalez? He refused. All right, I'll take care of that in a moment. Um, sir, you were here in case number 20MO1061. You were arrested for disorderly conduct. There is probable cause. Ms. Bush, is there an offer for Mr. Hernandez Rivera? Yes, Your Honor. It's an adjudication of guilt, two days Orange County Jail, two days credit time served, and court costs. Sir, did you want to accept that offer? Yeah, Your Honor. Uh, I'm, okay. 
I'm sorry, the interpreter hasn't had a chance to interpret that for the defendant. The, the interpreter had a, sí. Sí, sí, es que, uh, The interpreter wasn't able to hear the state uh, very clearly. Sure. It's an adjudication no, of guilt, two days in jail with credit for two days time served. No escucho. ¿Qué? No lo oí. I didn't hear. The offer is an adjudication of guilt, two days in jail, with credit for two days time served. Sí. Yes. Sí. Did you read the plea form? No, no, no. No. Please read the plea form and let me know if you have any questions about any of the rights that you're giving up. No. Oh, see. Sí. Entendí. Oh, yes, I, I got it. I understood. Okay, sir. Um, are you on probation? No, yo no tengo nada de eso. No, I, I don't have anything like that. Do you understand if you're not a U.S. citizen, this plea will result in your deportation? No entiendo porque yo soy puertorriqueño, pero si pasa, pasa. I, I don't get it because I'm Puerto Rican, so I guess if it happens, it happens. Are you under the influence of any drugs, alcohol, or medication? Sí, yo uso medicamento, pero el, el, me quitaron el seguro social. Yo como de la basura y no, no, no tengo medicamentos ni nada. Parezco depresión y paso, me paso llorando. No sé, me voy a morir por ahí porque no, yo tengo HIV y no sé qué voy a hacer. Uh, well, I, I do uh, take medications, um, but I lost the social security, so, you know, I have to eat off the street. So I'm, I don't get the medications. Uh, I'm depressed. I, I I'm crying all the time. I think I'm just gonna, you know, die just somewhere along the way. And I don't know what I'm gonna do because I'm I have uh, HIV and I don't know what I'm gonna do. Well, I'm very sorry to hear that, sir. But my question is, are you under the influence of? And do you understand what's happening in court this morning? Yo verdaderamente perdí mi, mi, mi sistema, yo, yo no sé ni dónde estoy a veces. Well, honestly, I lost my, uh, my system. I mean, there are times when I don't even know where I'm at. Oh, my God. All right, sir, I'm not going to accept your plea. Your bond is $250. I'm not going to take any action on the out on bond case. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, honorable. Did you appoint the public defender? Yes, I did, Ms. Haley. Thank you. Oh, and then that's the last Spanish case. Thank you very much. You're welcome, ma'am. Thank you. All right. Then there's 20MM7331, Roger Perez Gonzalez. I'm finding a waiver of his appearance based upon his refusal to come to court. In 20MM7331, he was arrested for petty theft. There is probable cause. He's not to return to the Dunkin' Donuts. Bond is $250, and I'll appoint the public defender. Good morning, your name? Robert Harris. Mr. Harris, you're here in 20 CF 9856. You were arrested for violating your conditions of pretrial release. Your bond is set at none, sir. I will appoint the public defender to represent you if they weren't previously appointed. Yes. Thank you. Um, my ma I couldn't hear you. Do I have a bond? You do not. You have to have your lawyer file a bond motion in front of Judge O'Kane. Thank you.
Sir, good morning. Your name? Zachary Drodowski. Mr. Zrodowski, you are here for an out-of-county warrant out of Osceola County. Your bond is set at none, sir. I'll appoint the public defender here in Orange County to help um, assist you with coordinating with Osceola County on your case. What did you say? I didn't hear you. Can, any, can everyone else hear me or not? I can, I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay. I just, it's like the third person in a row who says that they can't hear me. You're here on a warrant out of Osceola County. Your bond is set at none. I've appointed the public defender to represent you to help you coordinate your case in Osceola County, sir. So uh, I, I got to stay here? I, they right. can't transfer me over there? No. Uh, thank you. All right, thank you. Which way are we going? Be careful. Good morning, your name? Good morning, my name is Peterson. Mr. Peterson, you were here in 20 CF 12207. Oh. This is not the right guy. Okay. Good morning, tell me your name. Dale Peterson. Mr. Peterson, this is 20 CF 12207. This was reset from yesterday regarding additional probable cause information. And your mm -hmm. honor, if I may have just one moment. Sure. email to see if I have anything. received anything your honor all right mr peterson at this time you're going you're going to be released on your own recognizance as to this case only that doesn't mean that the state of florida can't file charges in this case the case has not been dropped it's just that you don't have to post a bond on the case so i okay? can go home today i don't know if you have any other holds no he doesn't have all right you'll be released today yes ma'am
so I don't get released. Yeah. Sir, good morning. Your name? Gary Lee Simmons. Mr. Simmons, you are here in 20 MM 7335. You were arrested for trespassing. There is probable cause. Ms. Bush, is there an offer for Mr. Simmons? No. Your Honor, if I may have a moment to pull Mr. Simmons. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Your Honor. It's an adjudication of guilt, five days Orange County Jail, three days credit time served, no return to the Walgreens, abide by all trespass warnings, and no contact with witnesses and court costs. Mr. Simmons, did you want to accept the offer? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes? You have yes. to answer my questions out loud. Yes, ma'am. Did you read the plea form before court? Ma'am. Did you read the plea form yes, before court? Yes, I did. Do you have any questions about any of the rights on the plea form? No, ma'am. Are you on probation? No, ma'am. Do you understand if you are not a U.S. citizen, this plea will result in your deportation? Yes, ma'am. Are you under the influence of any drugs, alcohol, or medication? No, ma'am. I'll accept your plea, adjudicate you guilty, sentence you to five days in jail. You've got credit for three days time served. You're not to return to the Walgreens. You need to abide by the trespass warning and you can't have any contact with any of the witnesses. You will have to pay court costs, which will be due by October 12th of 2021. You have 30 days to appeal, and I'm not going to revoke your bond. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Good morning. Your name? Good morning. My name is Peterson Limothy. Sir, you are here in case number 20 CF 12250. You were arrested for battery by strangulation, domestic violence. There's probable cause. I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you. You're not to have any contact with the victim. You're to maintain a separate residence. You may have a one-time return with law enforcement to get your things if needed. You are not to possess any weapons or firearms. Do you have any questions about anything that I've ordered? No, ma'am. Your bond is $1,000, sir. Thank you. Good morning, your name? London Diamond. Thank you, Ms. Diamond. You need to keep your mask up, okay? Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay, thank you. This is 20 CF 12236. You were arrested for aggravated battery with a deadly weapon. There is probable cause. I'll appoint the public defender to represent you. You are not to have any contact with the victim. You are to maintain a separate residence. You may return one time with the police to get your things if needed. You're not to possess any weapons or firearms. Do you have any questions about what I've ordered? No, ma'am. All right, ma'am. I'm going to place you on pretrial release at this time. Thank you. Good morning. Your name? Israel Smith. Mr. Smith, this is 20 CF 12253. You were arrested for attempted third degree murder, aggravated assault with a firearm, battery by strangulation, dating violence, aggravated battery with a firearm, false imprisonment, possession of a firearm in the commission of a felony, and possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. I do not find probable cause as to count one. Ms. Bush. I'm not sure what the fact is that would substantiate that. The only the only facts that 
I see that could go to count one would be the attempted strangulation combined with the assault with a firearm. Um, and the aggravated battery with a firearm. Those three, the facts that are contained in the affidavit that provide the PC for those two, three, and four, and for count five would be facts that would go to the attempted third degree murder. I'm pulling the third degree murder up to make sure that those facts would. Ms. Haling, did you want to be heard? May I have a moment? Sure. Your Honor, as to um, PC on count one, um, I asked the court, um, as far as the facts goes, the facts are sufficient for the probable cause on the other case, on the other charges. Um, I believe the state may be reaching a bit um, just on the count one. Um, we'd ask the court not to find probable cause on count one. Um, and if the state finds that there's sufficient facts, they could always follow the information later. Anything else, Ms. Bush? No, Your Honor. The state's argument, the state stands by its argument that uh, the facts that provide the PC for the aggravated assault with a firearm, battery by strangulation, aggravated battery with a firearm, and false imprisonment all uh, are facts that could provide PC for the attempted third degree murder, Your Honor. The court does not find probable cause as to count one. He'll be ROR as to that count. Count two, bond is 2,500. Count three, bond is 1,000. Count four, bond is 3,500. Count five is 3,000. Count six is 5,000. Count seven is 4,000. Sir, you're not to have any contact with the victim. You are to maintain a separate residence. You may have a one-timer term with law enforcement to get your things if needed. You're not to possess any weapons or firearms. Do you have any questions about anything that I've ordered? No. Thank Your you, Honor, sir. What was the bond on count seven? 4,000. Good afternoon, or good morning, your name? Um, Brian Vieira. Sir, this is 20 CF 12254. You were arrested for possession of cocaine and battery domestic violence. There is probable cause. I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you. You're not to have any contact with the victim. You're to maintain a separate residence. You may return one time with the police to get your things if needed. You are not to possess any weapons or firearms. Your bond on count one is 1,000. Your bond on count two is 500. And I'm revoking the bond in 19 CT 6660. That's going to be set at none. Thank you, sir. Good morning, your name? Good morning. Tell me your name. Dimitri Youngblood. Mr. Youngblood, this is 20 CF 119880. You were arrested pursuant to a warrant for aggravated assault with a firearm and for child abuse. I will appoint the public defender to represent you. You're not to have any contact with the victim. You're to maintain a separate residence. You're not to possess any weapons or firearms. If you do own a firearm, sir, you will need to surrender that to the police within six hours of your release from custody. You'll have to call the non-emergency number and they'll explain to you how to surrender the firearm.
Your bond on count one is going to be 2,500. Bond on count two is 150. Mr. Youngblood, do you have any questions about anything that I've ordered? No, no. All right, thank you. All right. Good morning, your name? Good morning. Tell me your name. Milton Collins. Mr. Collins, you were here in 20 MM 7354. You were arrested for battery domestic violence. There is probable cause. I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you. You're not to have any contact with the victim. You are to maintain a separate residence. Uh, you're not to possess any weapons or firearms. If you need a one-time return with the police to get your things, you may do so. Your bond is $500, sir. Thank you. Good morning, your name? Joe Jones. Mr. Jones, this is 20 MM 7357. You were arrested for battery domestic violence. There is probable cause. I'll appoint the public defender to represent you. You're not to have any contact with the victim. You're to maintain a separate residence. You are not to possess any weapons or firearms. You may return to the home one time with the police to get your things if needed. Do you have any questions about anything that I've ordered? I may return back to my home for once. Pardon me? Can you repeat what you said, ma'am? Right, so you cannot have any contact with the victim. You need to maintain a separate residence. You may return one time with the police to get your things if needed, and you're not to possess any weapons or firearms. Do you have any questions about those orders? Yes, uh, that is my residence. She does not reside there. It's a room then in the house. Then that's fine. If she doesn't live there, then you don't have a problem. But if she's there, you can't go back. Thank you very much, ma'am. Um, sir, I'm going to put place you on pre-trial release. Sir, good morning. Your name? Cal Emanuel Dos Santos, sir. Okay. Mr. Santos, you just have to keep your mask up, okay? Pardon me, Your Honor. Sorry. This is 20 MM 512. You were arrested for battery. There's probable cause. I'll appoint the public defender to represent you. You're not to have any contact with the victim. You're to maintain a separate residence. You're not to possess any weapons or firearms. If you need a one time return with the police to get your things from the house, you may do so. It's I'm going to place you on pretrial release at this time, sir. Ma'am, it's my house. She not, she doesn't reside there whatsoever. Okay, so, so as long as she's there, you need to pull your mask up for me, please. Sorry about that, ma'am. As long as she's not there, then you can be there. Okay. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. This one right here. Thank you, ma'am. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Tell me your name, please. Sedaris Wesley. Mr. Wesley, you were here in 20 MM 7345. You were arrested for battery domestic violence. There is probable cause. I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you. You're not to have any contact with the victim. You are to maintain a separate residence. You may return one time with the police to get your things if needed. Okay. You're not to possess any weapons or firearms. Do you have any questions about anything that I've ordered? Uh, no, ma'am. All right, I'm gonna place you on pretrial release. And your honor, may we have a comply with DCF order? Yeah, Mr. Wesley, um, you're going to also need to comply with any DCF um, orders. Okay. Okay? Thank you. Good morning, sir. Your name? Alvin Devante Dean. Mr. Dean, this is 20 CT 6328. You were arrested for driving while license suspended. There is probable cause. I'll appoint the public defender to represent you. Is there an offer for Mr. Dean? Your Honor, I, I can give an offer. However, he does have a prior Dwellis conviction. This would be an adjudication offer, which would make his second. 
and to I to did not history? review his uh, driving history to see if there are any others. Your Honor, does the court have the driving record? Um, I do not, actually. Oh, is it attached? I do. We actually and don't you, see a previous driving while license suspended conviction. Your Honor, we have a conviction and I don't see it on the driving. I see a no valid back in 2019. Yes, Your Honor, I, I see a no valid as well. Okay. And I, I, was, I was merely going off the first appearance information sheet. Oh, okay. Um, that having been said, the state's offer would be an adjudication of guilt Two days Orange County Jail, two days credit time served, do not drive without a valid driver's license, and court costs. I don't know if he wants to try to get a valid driver's license or not. Did you have the driving record? I did. I, I did not see that he had any prior um, driving while license suspended convictions. He has two prior no valid convictions. Thank you. Your Honor, Mr. Dean wants to accept the state's offer on the dual list. Okay. Did you read the plea form, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Do you have any questions about any of the rights you're giving up? No, ma'am. Are you on probation? No, ma'am. Do you understand if you are not a U.S. citizen, this plea will result in your deportation? Yes, ma'am. Are you under the influence of any drugs, alcohol, or medication? No, not at all. I will accept your plea, adjudicate you guilty, sentence you to two days in jail. You've got credit for two days time served. You'll have to pay court costs, which are due by October 12th of 2021. You have 30 days to appeal the judgment and sentence of the court in writing. And I'm not gonna revoke the bond on the out on bond case. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Medical. I don't have Bell. Uh, Chisholm? What is? In jail arraignments? Oh, okay. Um, that's okay. 19 CT 717. Miss um, Haley, do you want to enter a plea of not guilty? Yes, Your Honor. And all right. Your Honor, are we doing Bell? Bell. So are we now doing all of the in jail arraignments before yes. we move forward? Okay. Um, Mr. Bell is going to be in Division 61. Pre-trial conference is December 7th, 
at 8.30 a.m. in courtroom 6B. And what was the reason? Good morning, tell me your name. Dima Zara. Excuse me? Dima Zara. This is 20 CT 5676. This is your arraignment for the offense of operating without a valid driver's license. Ms. Bush, was there an offer for Mr. Uh, Lara? No, Your Honor. Okay. Ms. Haley, I'm going to appoint your office to represent him. Do you want to enter a plea of not guilty? Yes, Your Honor. That's going to be Division 63, pretrial conference, November 19th, 8.30 a.m., courtroom 12C. Miss Hanley, I'm going to appoint your office to represent him. Do, do you want to enter a plea of not guilty? Yes, Your Honor. That's Division 81. Pre-trial conference, November 6th at 9 a.m., courtroom 4E. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Battle? He's also the Miss Hanley, your office does represent him. Do you want to enter a plea of not guilty? Yes, Your Honor. This is going to be Division 61, pretrial conference, December 7th, 8.30 a.m., courtroom 6B. Thank you. And the courtroom again, Your Honor. 6B. Is that Thank boy? you. Thank you. service on Mr. Blanton? Yes, Your Honor. You do? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Um, this is 20 MM 2641. Are you Mr. Blanton? Yes, ma'am. All right. You are being arraigned on the offense of violation of a domestic injunction. I will appoint the public defender to represent you. Miss Haley, do you want to enter a denial? Yes, Your Honor. Or I'm sorry, plead not guilty. Not guilty. Uh, Mr. Blanton, this is Division 50, pretrial conference, November 23rd at 2.30 p.m. in courtroom 7C. Thank you. Sir, good morning. Tell me your name. Lindsay Maurice Burton. Mr. Burton, this is 20 MM 6286. Your arraignment for the offense of trespass on property other than a structure or a conveyance. Was there an offer for Mr. Burton? Yes, Your Honor. Um, the state's offer is an adjudication guilt, 46 days Orange County Jail, no contact with any victims or witnesses, no return to the extended state hotel, 5610 Violin Road, um, abide by the trespass warning, Cost of investigation to Orlando Police Department of $62 in court costs. Um, may I have just one moment? Sure. Thank you. And just to confirm, Your Honor, I believe he has 46 days credit time, sir. That's what I have as well.
Your Honor, Mr. Burton is going to accept the state's offer. Mr. Burton, did you read the plea form before court, sir? This paper, um, no ma'am, I haven't read it yet. Okay, so please read that and then let me know if you have any questions about any of the rights that you're giving up. Yes ma'am, no ma'am, I'm, I'm good. I'm good, I'm just trying to get, get free, get home. Mr. Burton, are you on probation? No ma'am. Do you understand if you're not a U.S. citizen, this plea will result in your deportation? Yes, ma'am. Are you under the influence of any drugs, alcohol, or medication? No, ma'am. I'll accept your plea, adjudicate you guilty, sentence you to 46 days in jail with credit for 46 days time served. You're not to have any contact with the witnesses. You can't return to the extended stay. You're going to have to pay court costs, which includes the cost of investigation to the Orlando Police Department. In the amount of $62, those will be due by October 12th of 2021. You have 30 days to appeal the judgment and sentence of the court in writing, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Good morning, your name? Amal Douglas. Ms. Bush, do you have service on Mr. Douglas? I may have just one moment. Mr. Douglas, um, at this time, I don't have any jurisdiction over you on this case. The state has to serve you with a summons. I suspect you're being held here on a different case, right? Yes. I suspect that they'll probably have you served while you're here at the jail, and then you'll be brought back to court for your arraignment on this charge. All right. Okay. I have a court date on the 22nd for this charge. Not for this one, you don't. What is this? What is this charge? A battery. Oh, yeah. No, the state has to perfect service. It should never have been set. MM6276, Ms. Haling, do you want to enter a plea of not guilty? Yes, Your Honor. It's a Division 81 case. Pre-trial conference is November 6th at 9 a.m., courtroom 40. And, Your Honor, in this case, um, really quickly, he's being held. Um, it shows that he has no bond, um, but this case was a summons case that was served after he came in on an initial appearance. Um, and then it has the order revoking pretrial release, but he was never um, on any type of bond before that. And Your Honor, I didn't see that he's in jail on this particular case. He's in on other matters. I revoked his bond in, in this case. That's strange. 
I must have not have known it was a summons. So why would that be a fact? And he is being held on that no bond in this case. The summons was served, however, on September 24th. And it looks as though possibly the next day his pretrial release was revoked. He was just never entitled to a bond on this case, so that's why we'll be asking the court if you could set a bond in this case only. Um, He was arrested on September 24th. A summons in this case was served on him, and then he had IA on the 25th, and bond was revoked. Ms. Bush, do you have a position on that? I just need to go back into the original CF. This was downgraded from a CF, Your Honor. 6276? Yes, Your Honor. The related case was 2020 CF 8548. Is the information that I have, I'm just checking to see if that's so. I'm sorry, CF 8... 8548. 8548. And the case number that we're here for today oh. was downgraded from 8548. So that's why, Ms. Haley, because he was released as to this case, and then when the, case, the state filed an information, they filed it as a misdemeanor and served the summons on him because he was out of custody. Okay. Thank you. See what I'm saying? <laughs> Thank you. No, no problem. Now it makes sense to me why I would have revoked the release. Right. When I saw him, it was on the felony. Yeah, I would like to see was the misdemeanor. I didn't okay. need to see the felony. All right. So Thank I you. think we did everything. I gave you a court date in Division 81, correct? Yes. Okay. And then did we do Mr. Douglas? Yes, Your Honor. Yes. Okay. And then Mr. Roberts? He's uh, out of work, Your Honor. He's at work? Yes. Okay. Was there an offer for Mr. Roberts? Yes, yes Your Honor. Sir. It was a credit time served is offer. Is he allowed to accept or is he able to accept the offer? 
he he is um it wouldn't get him out of jail but he he is able to accept this offer if he wanted to all right i mean you could just enter a plea of not guilty and you can set up for a polycom plea or a quorum three plea you Definitely. want to do that yes you okay right. so mr roberts is going to be in division is he re going to be reassigned So that's going to be Division 63 pretrial conference, November 19th at 8.30 a.m., courtroom 12C. And then Mr. Sands. Ms. Haling, you represent him. Do you want to enter a plea of not guilty? Yes, Your Honor. That's also Division 63 pretrial conference, November 19th, 8.30 a.m., courtroom 12C. And Mr. Thomas. Give me one second, Mr. Thomas. I just want to verify that there's service. Ms. Bush, do you have service? Your Honor, I'm checking again. Okay. I just don't the see The last it. I checked was yesterday evening and I did not see service. jail arraignment because the court minutes from Judge Bigney indicate that it's just returned to the state to perfect service. So I don't know. And Your Honor, I am Yes, Your Honor. On October 9th summons to appear was served um, and the summons to appear was served for today's arraignment hearing and it was personally served to Mr. Thomas by Orange County Sheriff's Office officer uh, Deputy Jorge Otero here at the jail. Okay, thank you Ms. Bush. Mm -hmm. Uh, sir, this is 20 MM 5038. This is your arraignment for a violation of a domestic violence injunction. I will appoint the public defender to represent you. Ms. Haling, would you like to enter a plea of not guilty? Yes, Your Honor. The Division 50 case pretrial conference is November 23rd at 2.30 p.m. in courtroom 7C. And Your Honor, what was the time? Pardon me? The time, I got November. 2.30. Thank you. Ma'am, is there any way I can get my bond reinstated? You need to have your lawyer file a motion. Wow, I've been. Thank you, Your Honor. I apologize for doing this, but on Mr. Jabari's stands, um, that was the one that I entered the not guilty plea. He's in medical. Okay. Um, he was prepared to resolve his case today, and he's in medical. He's been in for 30 days on a trespass. Is it okay if we reset it for tomorrow? So no, because okay. he can't be brought to court. So um, okay. I know you haven't been here for a while. So yeah. <laughs> um, with the medical, um, it's kind of different from when we did it before. I think now when Dexter lets me know, it's it'll be uh, hospital, meaning they can be reset. Okay. If it's medical, they're in a dorm where they can't be brought to court. Oh. So what I would recommend on those cases then is now it's referred to the division, but there's that um, the polycom okay. that they can do the in jail pleas where they actually can plea in the dorm. Okay, perfect. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Uh, Mr. Thompson, Jody Thompson. He's All right, Ms. Haling, did you want to enter a plea of not guilty? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Thompson is going to be Division 63 pretrial conference November 19th at 8.30 a.m. Quorum 12C. And Shaitel Thompson. Good morning. Good morning. This is 20 MM 6637, your arraignment for the offense of trespass on property. Ms. Bush, is there an offer for Ms. Thompson? Yes, yes. Your Honor. Um, the offer conveyed was an adjudication of guilt, 27 days Orange County Jail, 27 days credit time served, no contact with victim or witnesses, 
no return to Lee's Market at 4001 West Columbia Street in Orlando. Abide by all trespass warnings and court costs. No. Your Honor, Ms. Thompson wants to accept the state's offer. I believe she has credit for 32 days. That's what I have as well. 32? Yes. <laughs> Ms. Thompson, did you read the plea form, ma'am? Yes. Do you have any questions about any of the rights you're giving up? No. Are you on probation? No. Do you understand if you're not a U.S. citizen, this plea will result in your deportation? Yes. Are you under the influence of any drugs, alcohol, or medication? No. Ma'am, I'll accept your plea, adjudicate you guilty, sentence you to 32 days in jail. You've got credit for 32 days time served. You're not to return to the Lee's Market. You'll need to abide by the trespass warning and pay court costs, which will be due by October 12th of 2021, and you have 30 days to appeal the judgment and sentence of the court in writing. So Thank will, you. I'll be released today? Yes, you will. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Toms? He's medical, Your Honor. Ms. Haley, you do represent him. You want to enter plea of not guilty? Yes, Your Honor. That's going to also be a Division 63 case, pre-trial conference, November 19th, 8.30 a.m., courtroom 12C. The next person is Chisholm, Michael Chisholm. Sir, good morning. Your name? Uh, Michael Chisholm. Mr. Chisholm, you were here in 19 MM 5886. You were arrested for failing to appear for pretrial conference. Your bond is $2,000. This is a Division 84 case. You have court on November 5th at 10 a.m. in courtroom 4B, sir. Thank you. Um, if I, so if I can't pay the bond, I just stay, I just stay in jail until court date? Good morning, your name? Malik Corbett. Mr. Corbett, this is 20 mm 7358. You are arrested for criminal mischief. There is a probable cause. I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you. You're not to have any contact with the victim. Your bond, sir, is $500. I'm revoking the bond in 20 mm 465 sir i had entered an order that you were not to have any contact with miss williams and you violated that order bond will be set at none
the case. Okay. Do they all say that? I don't know. No, okay. Okay. Right. Good morning, Mr. Haddon. Good morning. This is 20 MM 7353. You were arrested for battery. There is probable cause. I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you. Mm -hmm. Has he been separated from Ms. Shrimpin? Do we know Mr. Shrimpin? Yes, sir. It's another inmate. Okay. Mr. Haddon, you can't have any contact with Mr. Shrimpin. Okay. Your bond is $500, sir. Okay. Thank you. So that's all I think you today? Pardon me? I don't think so. No, no I can't take your thing. You care. can't take your Do you have any other charges? Pardon me? Do you have any other charges? I don't know. What's Mr. Haddon here for? I think so, because you were arrested here at the jail. He's here for battery and um, open container. Oh. You're being held here on an open container? That's all the charges I have. But I'm here in the not for. Let me look, Mr. Haddon. What are my charges? Yeah, he has a bond of a hundred dollars on the open container. I was walking down the sidewalk, and that's what I was doing. All right, Mr. Haddon, did you want to resolve the open container? I'm not gonna. I can't resolve yes. the battery case today, but I can resolve the open container case. Well, I thought you said that I was that I did the battery. What? Are you saying that I did the battery? I'm not saying you did or you didn't. I'm just telling you why you're here. But you were arrested for battery. For touching Mr. Shrimpin in oh, your cell. That's what the allegation is. I, he said that I did something. I didn't. I'm not, Mr. Mr. Haddon, I'm not saying you did. Did you want to resolve the open container case? What open container? For what? You're, you're here at the jail. You were here because you were drinking outside where you shouldn't have been drinking. No, I wasn't doing that either. Do you want I'll to resolve enter? the case today. I resolve all of it if I can. All right. Ms. Bush, did you want to make an offer on the... Um, can I resolve all my cases? Can I Mr. Haddon. My cases? I, have, I have that right. Mr. Haddon, you cannot talk unless I ask you a question. I mean, I don't have anything. With regard to the open container, yes, it Haddon. would be an adjudication, credit time served, and court costs. Thank you. Honor. Mr. Haddon, did you read the plea form? Yes. Do you have any questions? No, ma'am. Are you on probation? No. Do you understand if you're not a U.S. citizen, this plea will result in your deportation? I understand. Sure. Yes? Yes. Are you under the influence of any drugs, alcohol, or medication? No. All right, I'm going to accept your plea, adjudicate you guilty, sentence you to... 11 days. 11 days in the county jail. You've got credit for 11 days time served. Uh -huh. um, you'll have to pay court costs, which are due by October 12th, of 2021 and you have 30 days to appeal. Mr. Hedden, I'm actually gonna release you on your own recognizance on the battery charge. You're not to have any contact with Mr. Shrimpin uh -huh. and you must appear at all court dates. Do you understand? They're gonna give you a court date when you leave the jail. You make sure that you uh, appear for that court date, sir. Do you understand? I comprehend that. All right, thank you. So I go home today? Yes. After I go, I'll pay my court costs, I'll be there. Yeah, the and, uh, open case 20 MO 1003. Good morning, your name? Roberto Francisco Hernandez. Mr. Hernandez, you're here in 20MM255. You were arrested for battery. There is probable cause. I will appoint the public defender to represent you. You're not to have any contact with the victim or possess any weapons or firearms. Your bond is $500, sir. Thank you. No contact, no weapons. What about Mr. Hoover? Yes, ma'am. Oh, I've not, I've, we've, I've never, I don't think I've met you, Mr. Hoover. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. I was expecting someone else. Um, this is 20MM7352. You were arrested for petty theft. There is probable cause. Is there an offer on the petty theft, Ms. Bush? No, Your Honor. Okay. It's a private citizen. Yes. Thank you, Ms. Bush. Um, and then you have 20 MO 1057. You are arrested for open container. There's probable cause to each offense. I will appoint the public defender to represent you. 
I'm gonna release you on your own recognizance, Mr. Hoover. You need to make sure you appear at your next court date. Otherwise, there'll be a warrant for your arrest. You understand? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and Your Thank Honor, you. may we have a no return and a no contact with the victim yes. in 2020? Mr. Hoover, amendment. you're not allowed to go back to um, Mr. Dennis's apartment. Do you understand? And you can't have yes, contact with him. You understand? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. No, open container. There's no condition. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Good morning. Your name? Terrence Renard Hudson. Mr. Hudson, you were arrested in 20 MM 7355 for possession of drug paraphernalia and 20 MO 1058 for open container. There's probable cause for both of the offenses. Ms. Bush, is there an offer for Mr. Hudson? Yes, Your Honor. It's an adjudication of guilt. Two days Orange County Jail, two days credit time served in both cases. Mr. Hudson, did you want to enter a plea this morning? Yes, ma'am. All right. Did you read the plea form? No, but I'm guilty. Okay. Why don't you take a look at that plea form and just let me know if you have any questions? No, oh, ma'am. I can't see it anyway. Are you on probation? No, ma'am. I ain't been in trouble in 13 years. Do you understand if you're not a U.S. citizen, this plea will result in your deportation? Yes. Are you under the influence of any drugs, alcohol, or medication? Uh, I, well, high blood pressure medication. Okay, but it's not affecting your ability to understand what's happening in no, court today. Okay. I'll accept your plea in both cases, adjudicate you guilty, sentence you to two days in jail with credit for two days' time served. Those will run concurrent to one another. You will have to pay court costs. Um, those will be due by October 12th of 2021. You have 30 days to appeal the judgment and sentence of the court in writing. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Ms. Paisley. Miss Paisley or Pasley. Okay. Right, I'll reset her for tomorrow. Good morning, your name? Scotty George Coburn. I was born Scotty George Hackle. All right, sir. I hold the rights to the United States Justice Department. I hold the rights to the whole White House, to the whole Constitution. So, Mr. Coburn? Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. Ma'am, I, I was I was David Hostetler left the Listen, U.S. Justice please, Department Mr. to me. Coburn, I hold the rights to the stop U.S. Justice Department. Or I'm not going to let you stay in the courtroom. Do you want to stay? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Do you want to resolve your case today? Yes, ma'am. All right. You were arrested in 20 M O 1059 for disorderly conduct. Yes, ma'am. There's probable cause. Ms. Bush, do you have an offer for Mr. Coburn? Yes, Your Honor. It's an adjudication. Two days Orange County Jail. Two days credit time served. Mr. Coburn, did you want to take that offer? Uh, that means I go home today. It will. Yes, ma'am. I Are love you? you. God bless you. Mr. Coburn, just a second, you, please. Yes, okay. Mr. Coburn, are you currently on probation? Uh, no, ma'am. All right. And you understand if you're not a U.S. citizen, this plea will result in your deportation? Yes, ma'am. Are you under the influence of any drugs, alcohol, or medication? No, ma'am. All right, Mr. Coburn, I'll accept your plea, adjudicate you guilty, sentence you to two days in jail. You've got credit for two days' time served. You'll have to pay court costs, which will be due by October 12th of 2021. You have 30 days to appeal. I'm not going to revoke your bond on your felony petty theft case. And that be the, 20, I gotta come on the 22nd for that? Right, you still need to go to that. Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you, sir. Should I get out today? Yes. Thank you, ma'am. God bless you. Hi, Judge. Good morning, tell me your name. Lee Furl. Sir, you were here in 20 MO 1060. You were arrested for disorderly conduct. There is probable cause. Ms. Bush, is there an offer for Mr. Farrell? Yes, Your Honor. It's an adjudication of guilt. Two days Orange County Jail. Two days credit time served and court costs. Did you want to accept the offer, sir? Uh, two days time served. I, I get to leave today? Yes. Yes, ma'am. I will. All right. Did you read the plea form before court? Uh, Actually, I wouldn't... Uh... You talking about uh, the yellow and pink one? No, I, I actually never was given that right there. All right. Well, just take a look at it and let me know if you have any questions.
I want to go ahead and plead guilty, I guess. All right, sir. Are you on probation? Uh, no, ma'am. Do you understand if you're not a U.S. citizen, this plea will result in your deportation? Yes, ma'am. I was born here. Are you under the influence of any drugs, alcohol, or medication? No, ma'am. All right, sir. I'm going to accept your plea, adjudicate you guilty, sentence you to two days in jail. You've got credit for two days' time served. You will have to pay court costs, which will be due by October 12th of 2021. You have 30 days to appeal the judgment and sentence of the court, sir. Thank you. Uh, you said, uh, now you said you have 30 days to appeal a judgment. Well, uh, what does that mean? If you wanted to appeal your conviction, you'd have 30 days to appeal it. You have to do it in writing. Oh, okay, so I would just uh, write, uh, do I write the courthouse a letter or? Uh... You'll have to talk to a lawyer about that, sir. Okay. Okay, thank you. Good morning, sir. Your name? Good morning. William Lewis Johnson. Mr. Johnson, this is 20 MO 1062. You were arrested for open container. There is probable cause. Ms. Bush, is there an offer for Mr. Johnson? Yes, Your Honor. It's an adjudication of guilt. Two days Orange County Jail, two days credit time served, and court costs. Thank Mr. Johnson, did you want to take the offer? Yes. Okay. Uh, did you read the plea form? Yes. Any questions about any of the rights that you're giving up? No, ma'am. Are you on probation? No. Do you understand if you are not a U.S. citizen, this plea will result in your deportation? Yes. Are you under the influence of any drugs, alcohol, or medication? No. I'll accept your plea, adjudicate you guilty, sentence you to two days in jail. You have credit for two days' time served. You will have to pay court costs, which will be due by October 12th of 2021, and you have 30 days to appeal the judgment and sentence of the court in writing, sir. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Ma'am, good morning. Your name? Michelle. What is it? Good morning, Michelle. Your name is Michelle? Marenzi. Okay. You are here for an out-of-county warrant out of Osceola County. Your bond on count one is 1,000. Your bond on count two is 100. It's related to burglary of an occupied structure and a battery. I'm not going, I'll appoint the public defender here in Orange County to represent you, and I'm not going to take any action on your Orange County case. Robin Marciante. All right. I'll appoint the public defender to represent her in 20 CT 31445. That's an out of county warrant from Brevard County, and there's a $500 bond. Right. And then Mr. Delmere. He's an out-of-county plea. Ms. Bush, were you ready on the 33 day? Your Honor, I need one moment. Sure. <laughs> oh, okay, no problem. Good afternoon, I'm Judge Carter. If I could have the state and the defense place their appearances on the record, please. Good afternoon, Edith Bush for the Office of the State Attorney. Good afternoon, Lakeisha Halen, Office of the Public Defender. Good afternoon, Mr. Arce. Hello, Judge. 
You're here in 20 CF 12239. You were arrested for tampering with physical evidence and in 20 MO 1056, possession of an open container. There's probable cause for each offense. I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you. I'm going to release you on your own recognizance at this time. You need to make sure that you contact the public defender within 24 hours of your release from the jail so that they know how to get in contact with you and that you appear at your next court date. Okay, great. So I'm all hard. Yeah. What happened to your face? Well, I, I had got into an incident in the street. A what? I had got into it with someone in the street. You need to be careful. Yeah, I know. It's not, it's not safe. No. All right, good luck. All right, thanks. Thank you, Yana. You're welcome. Sir, good afternoon. Your name? Marion Blair. Mr. Blair, you're here in case number 20 CF 12242 for driving while license revoked as a habitual offender. That's me. There is probable cause. I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you. Your bond's $1,000, sir. You are not to drive without a valid driver's license. I'm not going to revoke your bond. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Uh, nope, it's 1000 on the new case, and then I took no action on the old case. Good afternoon, sir. Your name? Jesse Bolton. Mr. Bolton, this is 20 CF 12241. You were arrested for possession of synthetic cannabinoids. There is probable cause. I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you. Mr. Boyd, why'd you miss court? You also have a second case where you failed to appear in 20 CF 1458. What that happened? was when I got out. We are already in that. Put your mask for me. Put, put your mask up, please. Oh, oh. Thank you. Well, it's when, right, when this pan, 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 pandemic hit, the, the public defenders was closed. The courtroom, everything was closed. Well, this was in August. Yes, I know. Anybody been having problems? Being living on the streets, trying to find work and get off of everything. It's, I just want to get this cleared up. I, I know it's turning. It was a. It was a to make a court date, and it turned it after. I just want to get this cleared up because I'm in the process of trying to get. I'm. I'm getting married. Oh, okay. And I'm on the process of getting off of the streets. I see. And I want to get the hell out of this damn city. Okay. Well, calm down, please. Um, I'm not gonna disturb the capias. Your your bond is a thousand dollars. Oh, I don't want. I don't want to get. I want. I just let my my body recoup here. Okay. I don't want to get out. I want to I want my body to recoup. Okay. All right. So, Mr. Boyd, your or Bolton. Sorry, Mr. Bolton, your bond is one thousand dollars and twenty CF one four five eight, and your bond is five hundred dollars and twenty CF one two two four one. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Your name? Anthony Wesley Brown, Jr. Mr. Brown, you are here. You have two cases. You have 20 CF 12223. You were arrested for fleeing and eluding. There is probable cause. I will appoint the public defender to represent you. Your bond's $2,500. 20 CT 6326. You were arrested for driving while license suspended. There is also probable cause. And your bond is $100. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Um, my client is the sole provider at, at home. Um, he's um, he's unable to afford the twenty five hundred dollar bond. Um, would the court consider reducing that count to a thousand dollars? Sir, where do you work? I work at pay setters and I get disability. I got a five year old and my wife home. We've just been here since July. 
So I'm the sole provider, and they'll get kicked out if I'm not there to help pay. No. You can afford the thousand dollars, Mr. Brown. Uh, she she may can scrape that up and call my other son in Miami to help her out, but she gets no income. I really was gonna thought I can get free trial or R R or something, cause I'm working. I can come back to court. I'm not a hot danger or none of that there. <laughs> Do you have a phone at home where they could contact your wife to verify your community ties? Y yes. Yeah, that, Pull the your phone mask up for me, Mr. Brown, please. Yes, Thank I do. It's a phone number. I just provided them okay. for, for, my, for my wife that they can call her. All right. I'm going to do PTR if qualified, see if they can verify your community ties. Otherwise, the bond will be $1,000. Okay. PTR is they get, so. On the felony case only, Your Honor? On both. On both. So, Your Honor, that would be 1,000 or PTR qualified. Correct. And 100 or PTR qualified. Correct. Okay. Thank you very much, Young. You're welcome, Thank sir. You. Good afternoon. Your name? Vincent Evelina. Mr. Evelina, this is 19 CF 6683. You failed to appear for sentencing. Your bond at this time is set at none. I will appoint the public defender to represent you. If they weren't previously appointed, they'll be able to get you back on the docket for your sentencing. Um, Thank you. May I uh, speak? Uh, no. no. There's nothing really to say. Um, I'm on our to speak. I notified the wrong address. That's Good afternoon. Your name? Robert Franklin. Mr. Franklin, this is 20 CF 12235. You were arrested for driving a license suspended as a habitual offender, failing to register your car, and attaching a tag on the sign. There is probable cause. I'll appoint the public defender to represent you in both cases. Bond on count one is going to be 500, bond on count two, 100, bond on count three, 100. You're not to drive without a valid driver's license. You were arrested in 18 CT 4752 because you failed to appear for court. Your bond in that matter is $2,500, sir. Yes, Thank you. Good afternoon, your name? Derek Harris, ma'am. What is it? Derek Harris. Mr. Harris, this is 20 CF 12230. You were arrested for grand theft of a motor vehicle, possession of cannabis, less than 20 grams, and possession of drug paraphernalia. You were also arrested in 20 CT 6327 for driving while license suspended. There's probable cause in that offense as well. Your bond will be $100. All the bonds will be stayed in, in CF 12230. I'm revoking all of your um, out on bond cases. Those bonds will be set at none. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon. Your name? Latoya Key. All right, Miss Key. How about Mr. Jenkins? Fine, did you want to? Okay. Miss Key, you have a bunch of cases. I'll appoint the public defender to any case that they were not previously um, appointed on. I am not going to take any action on the out on bond cases. You have 20 CF 6192, where your bond is set at none. You have 17 CF 11585, your bond is set at none. 17 CF 5113, bond is set at none. 19 CF 17402, bond is set at none. 18 CF 6218, bond is set at none. 20 CF 4300, bond is set at none. And 17 CF 2263 bond is set at none. And then Ms. Haling, the KPSs all indicate that she's to be seen by the division judge uh, the next day. So you might want to shoot an email to the lawyers that are um, 
handling those cases so that they yes. can get her on the docket regarding the conditional release. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Afternoon. Your name? Napoleon Matthews. Mr. Matthews, you're here in 19 CF 12085. You failed to appear for court. At this time, your bond, sir, is set at none. I'll appoint the public defender to represent you. Thank you. Afternoon, your name? How you doing? Tell me your name, please. Um, Anthony Maurice Mincy, 3183. Mr. Mincy, you have two cases. I will appoint the public defender to represent you on both. In 19 CF 4677, you failed to appear for court. In that matter, your bond is now set at none. And then you also have an out of county warrant from Osceola County where your bond is also, I believe it's at none. Uh, it's $2,500 for the Osceola County case. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon, ma'am. Your name? Good afternoon. Uh, Martha Moore. Miss Moore, this is 20 CF 12010. You were arrested for aggravated battery on a person over the age of 65 with a deadly weapon. Yes, ma'am. This was pursuant to a probable cause warrant. I'll appoint the public defender to represent you. You're not to have any contact with the defendant. You're not to possess any weapons or firearms. Your bond's going to be $1,500. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Good afternoon, ma'am. Your name? Lisa Lewis. Ma'am, this is 20 CF 12249. You were arrested for possession of cocaine and trespass in a conveyance. There is probable cause. I'll appoint the public defender to represent you. You're not to possess or consume any controlled substances without a valid prescription. I'm going to release you on your own recognizance at this time. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Miss mm -hmm. Oliver bonded, Your Honor. Denise, do you have more paperwork for me? Yes. Okay. Seems like it was really light. <laughs> Mr. Oliver bonded? Yes. Okay, or Miss Oliver? Good afternoon. Your name? I'm Nicole O'Neill. Miss O'Neill, you are here in 20 MM 3390. You failed to appear for court. You also have 20 CF 12244. You were arrested for, for possession of heroin and there is probable cause. I'll appoint the public defender to represent you in each case. Do I have a bond? Bond in 20 CF 12244 is going to be $1,000. You're not to possess or consume any controlled substances without a valid prescription. 
I'm not going to take any action on the out on bond case. And then in the 20 mm 3390, I'm going to set bond at $500. Thank you, ma'am. Are you going to qualify for PTR? Ms. Haling, do you want to waive the appearance or do you want me to reset it? Yeah, no, we can waive his appearance. Okay. I'll appoint the public defender to represent him in 20 CF 12228. He was arrested for robbery with a weapon and aggravated battery. There is probable cause. He does not have any contact with the victim or possess any weapons or firearms. Bond on count one will be 5,000. Bond on count one of count two will be 500. And then counts two, three, and four of count two will be 150. So 5,000 and then 500. And then 150 for the rest. Yes. I'm revoking the bonds in 19 CF 5952 and 20 CF 1587. Those will be set at none. And then there's 20 CF 12233. He was arrested for smuggling contraband into a prison, possession of a controlled substance, possession of marijuana, less than 20 grams, and possession of drug paraphernalia. There is probable cause. Bond on count one will be 500. Bond on count two, 150, three, 100, four, 100. Good afternoon, your name? Uh, Mr. Rainey. Mr. Rainey, this is 20 CF 12247. You were arrested for grand theft of a motor vehicle. There is probable cause. I'll appoint the public defender to represent you on both cases. In this case, your bond is $1,000. You're not to have any contact with the victim. And in 20 CT 6325, you were arrested for driving while license suspended. There is probable cause. You're not to drive without a valid driver's license. Your bond is $100. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon, your name? Henry Wales. How about Mr. Shepard? Wales. Was he released? Because it was on his own recognizance, which is strange. 2002269. Uh. Okay. You're Mr. Wells? Yes, ma'am. All right, sir. You are here in 20 CT 2218. <coughs> Looks like you failed to appear for court on a no valid driver's license. Ms. Bush, do you have an offer on that case and the 19 CT 660? It's another no valid. Your Honor, I have to look at the 2019 case. In both cases, Your Honor, it would be an adjudication of guilt, credit for time served, don't drive without a valid driver's license, mm -hmm. and court costs. Mr. Wells, did you want to take a plea in both the cases this afternoon? Yes, ma'am. All right. Did you read the plea form before court? Yes, ma'am. Any questions about any of the rights that you're giving up? No, ma'am. Are you on probation? No, ma'am. 
you understand if you're not a U.S. citizen, this plea will result in your deportation? Yes, ma'am. Are you under the influence of any drugs, alcohol, or medication? No, ma'am. All right. I will accept your plea in both cases. Adjudicate you guilty. On CT660, how many days does he have? Um, I don't have that information right now, Your Honor. Can someone tell me how many days he has? Yeah. Okay. In 660, I'll sentence you to 37 days in jail. You've got credit for 37 days time served. And in CT2218, I will sentence you to two days in jail with credit for two days time served. Those will run concurrent to one another. You're not to drive without a valid driver's license, Mr. Wells. You'll yes, have to pay court costs in each case. Those will be due by October 12th of 2021, and you have 30 days to appeal the judgment and sentence of the court. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. You're welcome. And then just Mr. Um, Delmere. He's medical, young. Mr. Delmere's medical? Yes. All right, well, I'm releasing Mr. Delmere on his own recognizance. Then. Yeah. Nope. So on Mr. Delmere, I'm going to release him on his own recognizance at this time, and he's to re he's to uh, call or contact the Hillsborough Hillsborough County Public Defender um, within 24 hours of, uh, from his release of custody. Is there anything else from the state or the defense? Not for the all right, the court will be in recess.